What's up, everybody? So we're live again. Apparently, we dropped the uh, dropped the link on the last time. So uh, uh, let's try that one step over again. Uh, so today we we got a um, we got a uh, an email over the weekend um, or on Friday, I think, um, just asking about the um, how you attach your leash either a bicep leash or a wrist leash it's all going to be exactly the same and um you know like whether you've got owls or somebody else's um yeah just basically all the same so just follow the instructions and uh so on our other boards which is our you know our wedge boards or our bula board or the fish board there's actually a little place there for that but on the ground board we don't have that on the end there so you actually have two options. I was thinking about it earlier, and I thought I'd show you the two options. Um, so I'll go with the first option, which is the easiest, and that actually comes with the boards. So basically what you want to do is at the end of any leash, um, whether it be a bicep or a little wrist leash, you'll have a little, um, on our, bo on our uh, wrist leashes you have that, and most other leashes you will. Um, what you want to do, is just make a nice tight knot like that so you just fold it over just a I guess you can call it a granny knot this material is actually designed um, specifically to not come out so you can pull really hard and that is actually the way that you would tie it on either a bodyboard or even a uh, um, my stand up um, my short board that's how I tie my leashes so uh, and it hasn't come off yet so it's pretty good um, so next thing you want to do is just undo your leash like that you wanna I uh, not your leash sorry your strap and you just want to roll it in like this And you can either put it underneath like that so it stays right there and then you are good to go. And then you just either put it on your, if you've got a wrist leash then you put it on your wrist. If you've got a, uh, if you've got a uh, bicep leash you do that. So if you're going if you're using if you're predominantly left-handed um, then you would obviously put it on your uh, left side <laughs> and if you're going right like I am then you just want to move it over to the right side I mean honestly both both ways is good but if it's on the right then it comes up the way it kind of keeps out the way a little bit um, so that's that's the number that's the number one way to do it um, and the easiest way to do it it's not going to come out um, the strap is super super um, durable and it's it's just not going to come out um, so that's the best way to do that there is one other way that I wanted to show you guys a little bit more technical so anybody who's owned a bodyboard will probably have done this already so these are made out of a foam and inside inside well, the the top layer is obviously a waterproof um, soft foam and on the inside that's Venice doesn't agree with what I'm doing here so uh, anyway um, so basically what you want to do is and this is again take care in doing this because once it's done it's literally done okay you can't you can't change that so um, the the board the ground board is made out of as I was saying before was um, a uh, durable foam on the top and then it's got an um, EPS foam on the inside which is waterproof as well so it's a closed cell um, EPS on the uh, on the inside so what you want to do if you want to do it exactly the same way that your ground board or your bula or your fish board is you want to get one of these okay and we actually sell these on our site and what this is is essentially just a um, it's basically a male and female uh, screw in leash plug for a body board and we've gone and shortened that edge because obviously body boards are quite a bit thicker than than our hand boards 
So what you want to do is you want to find exactly where it is that you want your, um, your uh, I would say, around about there, okay? And so you measure it up. And then you would take, I'm not going to do this right now because I don't want to do this to this board. Um, but what you want to do is you want to figure out exactly where the hole is. I would start, I generally, and some people would disagree, but I've always started from the back. Uh, just because it's a lot harder um, to get through. So you kind of make, you kind of drill a little bit like that till you get through and then then you basically just puncture straight through. And then what you do is you just take the, the top, this, this side is supposed to go on the top, okay? And then you just connect it and they, uh, and you screw them in and then they stay there pretty much uh, till eternity. And the reason I'm telling you that is because if you see right on the edge of that, or anybody on live, there's a little um, kind of uh, bar that goes across there. So then what you want to do, let me just take this out, is you just want to uh, basically feed this through exactly like you would on your Bula or on your... Um, I don't want to take, this is going to take too much to take, take, take off, but basically what you would do is just feed it through and then tie it on and then you've got a, you've got a, uh, um, a, this would probably be best actually for a, uh, now I'm thinking about it, is, is it not going to work great for a wrist leash, but it will work great for bicep leash. Uh, that other version I told you is really any um, the best pay way to do it is for a um, is for a bicep leash a uh, wrist, wrist leash sorry so um, the other if you wanted to use if you wanted to use this section here if you wanted to just take out what we already have in here and you wanted to replace it with one of these you're quite capable of doing that you can just pull this out kind of break it out and then because these are snap in plugs. Um, and so what you want to do is just replace it with that and then you can apply, you can actually attach your um, your your leash either your wrist leash or your bicep leash um, at that point uh, another thing worth mentioning is that this um, is the same way that you would attach and what we will do is we'll also do a uh, little how to on how to because we've been asked quite a few times is how to attach your your GoPro if you remember, you guys have got, we've got like a GoPro uh, insert that is on our higher end boards. And um, basically, you just do exactly what I just told you by puncturing um, anywhere actually on this board. You can either, you can also just take the GoPro attachment and stick it there. So you've got like a really cool point of view at the back. Or um, like with those, you can just stick it right in the front there like that. That is a special GoPro, uh, it's called a body bo body boarding um, GoPro attachment, I believe. Um, I just searched it on, on Amazon. And so that that allows you then to, to attach your GoPro to your board. Um, but that's for a different uh, how-to. But right now, so let's recap. The two ways that you want to do it, you can either just Attach it to your uh, to your strap really easily like that, either a wrist leash or a bicep leash, or then you've got the option to go a little bit more permanent and put a screwdriver straight through your board and then connect um, that specific thing that you'd have to get there. It costs about two or three dollars, I think. Um, and then you would just connect it in and then you can use your bicep to your heart's content. And of course, if you go longer longer wrist leash cord than that, would, would work really well. So if anybody has any questions, if I completely confused everybody, please uh, be sure to just comment and let, let us know that. Um, and I'm sure we'll clarify whatever, whatever, we, uh, whatever we can for that. But that is how you can attach, the different ways you can attach your, your leash. So peace out and hope you guys have a great week.